All right, Shalom. First and foremost of all, praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakak Wadash. The Bible says, Apostle, it was a great millstone teaching us, the most saying truth according to the Bible real well, and peace and blessings to the elect of the nation. Visit or take their spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Willing into the Lord's willing at a fine lesson. On you know, uh, sit around the topic of the fear of the Lord. I want to do a continuance lesson, the lesson I did last night, and uh, let's just hop right in. This is a uh, proverb sixteen and six, by mercy and truth. Right, so we've been given uh, mercy, uh, from Yahweh by Shema Shah, the Lord is showing us mercy when we read here in Isaiah fifty four. And verse 6, for the Lord have called thee a woman, called thee as a woman forsaken and grieved in spirit and a wife of youth when thou was refused, saith thy God, for a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great mercy will I gather thee in the little wrath I hid my face from thee for a moment. But with everlasting kindness, will I have mercy on thee, saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, thy Redeemer, right? So by the mercies of Yahweh by Shema Shai, we've been uh, given this grace period, you know, where all through the sacrifice of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, right? So by the mercies of the Lord and truth, right? So the truth of Yah by Shema Washai is what we have today. This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the, uh, of the Holy Scriptures while we're here, right? What our purpose is and what we need to do to, go, to get back, you know, in the good graces of Yah by Shema Washai. Because right now, the Lord is showing us mercy. You know, we've been given this grace period. But it's said by mercy and truth, right? This is a St. John 17, 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. To sanctify means to make dedicated, right? To dedicate, dedication, right? So these words, the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai are teaching the men of Israel, you know, the few sincere uh, women that are listening and learning in silence, Right, how to uh, dedicate their lives to serving Yahweh by Shema Washai, right? So, by Proverbs 16 and 6, by mercy and truth, iniquity is purged, right? What's iniquity? Iniquity is sin uh, upon sin, right? So, as it was our minds to go astray from the Most High, so being returned. You know, we are seeking him 10 times more. It's been a while since I brought this one out. This is Sirach, uh 17 and 25. Return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. So our iniquity is purged, right? Through the fear of the Lord, through the mercies of Yahweh by Shema Shai, us learning about the Lord, right? So those iniquities that we, you know, we're committing, right? We we start to offend less. We start to pray to Yah by Shema Shah. We we start to ask the Lord, uh, for forgiveness, right? We start to, uh, serve the Lord with fear and trembling, right? That's always a good one to get. This is a Psalms two, and eleven. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling, right? So we ought to serve Yah by Shema Shai with fear and trembling, right? It says Proverbs sixteen and seven, uh, verse six, by mercy and truth, right? So by this grace period that we've been given, and by the truth of Yah by Shema Shai, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, iniquity is purged, right? So that sin upon sin that we had becomes a uh, less. We start to offend less. We start to learn the ways of righteousness. We start to do that which is right in the sight of Yah by Shema Shai, right? And by the fear of the Lord, right? Us being, you know, uh, terrified of the judgments that Yah by Shema Shai is going to bring, right? Through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men.
it says, and by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil, right? So men depart from evil, you know, wickedness, bad times. Once they learn the truth of Yahweh by Shema Shah, once they learn uh, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, right? Uh, you know, I, all I should say, right? This is a prop, uh, Job 28 and 28. It says, and unto man, he said, behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. So, you know, by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. So by, you know, men learning of the ways that please the how by Shema was shy, they begin to, uh, to walk wisely upon the earth. They, they begin to, uh, put away evil and wickedness, Right. In their day to day lives, in the things that they did, uh, you know, for their pleasures, it says, "Behold, the fear of the Lord that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding." Right. So to, to depart from evil, you know, show forth that we have uh, understanding to show forth, you know, that Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, that that we fear Him. Right, and that's what wisdom is teaching us. This is Proverbs four and five. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Right, you can't just get this wisdom on your own. You have to be taught by men. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Right. So with all that, uh, that we all, you know, uh, the wisdom, knowledge, understanding that we have, we have to be obedient. We have to fear Yahweh by Shema Shah. We have to apply this wisdom, uh, to our lives, right? <coughs> this is a uh, Sirach one. <coughs> this is a uh, Sirach chapter one, verse twenty. It says, the root of wisdom is the fear of the Lord, and the branches thereof are long life. The root is the beginning, right? So the beginning of, you know, wisdom, the beginning of someone walking wisely and conducting, conducting themselves wisely down here upon the earth. They must fear the consequences of breaking the Heavenly Father's commandments. They must fear Yahweh by Shema Washai, Right? And serve him with fear and trembling, knowing of the judgments that the Heavenly Father is going to bring, right? And the branches thereof, what is comes from that life of obedience, what comes of that life of wisdom and understanding is long life, which is ultimately going to be immortality, everlasting life, right? It says, uh, verse 21, the fear of the Lord driveth away sins, Right, so the fear of the Lord driveth away sins, right? And where it is present, you know, where the where the fear of the Lord is found, where someone being obedient to the ways of Yahweh by Shema Washai is found, it turneth away wrath, and wrath is coming. Right? Wrath is coming to this ungodly generation, uh, this ungodly age that we are living in. Right, so wrath is coming, you know, and for all you Christians out there, you know, uh, who you ignorantly call uh, Jesus Christ, not only is he uh, bringing the wrath of the Heavenly Father, right, but he told us to fear the Lord, he told us to fear the Heavenly Father, right, and we ought to listen what our Lord tells us to do. This is St. Luke chapter 12, uh, verse 5. Um, Mm -mm. But I will forewarn you, right? But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him, which have which after he have killed the killed have power to cast into hell. Yeah, I say unto you, fear him, right? So Yah by Shema is uh, the one to be feared, right? Why does it say uh? Mm. Uh, let me just look this one up. Uh, blessed. Plus none. Yep. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is a uh, ecclesiast. This is Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, right? Ecclesiasticus, eleven and twenty-eight. Judge none blessed before his death, 
For a man shall be known in his children, right? Reincarnation. So when you come back, you know, back in the flesh, Yahweh Shema Shai will have the power, you know, to bring you down to a low estate, right? That's why our forefathers, you know, they went through uh, gruesome things, you know, to maintain their integrity in the Lord because they understood, you know, in the repercussions uh uh, uh, of disobeying uh, the Lord, you know, let me just get that. This is a uh, second Maccabees, uh, s uh, six and 26 for though for the present time, I should be delivered from the punishment of men. Yet should I not escape the hand of the almighty, neither alive nor dead. Right. So, there is no escaping the hands of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, he is the sovereign Lord. He is the one who dictates everything that goes down here upon the earth. And you ought to fear, uh, you know, you so-called Negro Latinos, Native Americans, ought to fear your king. With that, Lord's Lord is only edified. Next, I'm going to say, Shalom.